Donna Klein reporting live to you from the Tidewater Community College's Physics Laboratory. Here we have Tommy Story, the mastermind behind Tate, from all these Tate series is David Copperfield. Tommy, the audience wants to know, why are we doing this? Uh, we did a couple for the bad moment. What got you started? Oh, Crystal Hall. And as you can see, this is the equipment that he's using. Let me get it in focus here. Flies by the very generous Michael Clark. So, where's the, uh, your client, Billy Page? Is he around? I'd like to interview him. Uh, I think he went to the room. Okay. Well, while we're waiting on, let me interview, let me ask you some questions. Uh, what got you started? Um, a couple of people, though, when I went to see him at Fletcher Hall, and uh, he uh, said, go on the by six. And that got me started, because it kind of screwed me up. And then, uh, I just made a foot tape, and that's what the series all. And you've been go going on the series for how long now? Uh, since February. That's about, uh, I would say around 17 months. And how does your client feel? Billy Payne, the star of all the success. Say something, Billy. Yes, Billy. The audience wants to know your opinion on these Tate series of David Copperfield. Hey, Rocky, what can you pull right out of that? Yeah, wrong one. David Copperfield Tate? Uh, That's what the audience wants to know. Anyway, um, I don't like the idea of these. Are you sure you're recording this time? I'm recording. The audience is seeing this live. Okay. I don't mind you guys having fun with Copperfield, but you guys are going too far. How so? You make him like he's, he's sick in the head and he's not. Tommy, what is your reaction on Billy's reaction? Uh, I didn't say that right, but your comments on Billy's reaction. Oh, I'm going to kick out of it. Any more comments, Bill? What'd you say again? Any comments? That's all hard. It's all because when he heard, and what I heard, but I, we could have misheard because you said, that you thought he said, uh, uh, I was going off by six, but it sounded like he said the other thing, which, which kind of made him, Tommy kind of gross out, and ever since then he's had fun with the tapes, making Copperfield go crazy on tapes and have his fun. Did anybody help you with these series? Oh, um, tape five and tape six, Michael Klein helped me with it. And, yeah, obviously he's not here at the moment. No, but uh, tape one through uh, four, I did myself. Okay. Uh, Michael Klein just went to the room to check what stuff is. Well, I think he's working on the computer. Before what I, do I watch you for? Before I went, we have a bystander here who's watching this. No, <laughs> watching this. Any yeah. comments? Uh, um, I don't know. Um, I've been with these fellas for so long that it's hard to tell what he's going to do. It's like they're on the I noticed he's been an expert for years, and I think if you want to get into audio production, that you should check with him and Mike Klein. But so far, they've been the best that I've heard and seen of so far. So you're saying that they're unpredictable? Yes, that's true. They are unpredictable at times. Is this true? Uh, yeah. Would you consider yourself unpredictable? He's not even looking at the camera. Uh, yes. Billy, there's a spider on you. Oh, yeah. Before I met Tommy, Tommy's favorite magician was Doug Henney. But then when I showed him Copperfield, then after school, and then after going to the magic show, the rest is history. He likes Copperfield now. But I like any magician. I mean, I went to see, I heard the, I woke up, I was half asleep, I heard the word uh, with, with Ricky Dees tonight. They said, the magic of Aldini. And I, I come to find out, it's just a dog who uh, tells fortune by eating dog food. But I didn't know. Tells it of 
Broncos are going to win. The gray Aldini had the word Redini on it. But sometimes, usually there's a magician that is right, like mm -hmm. uh, Massive Kmart and all of them. But Copperfield, you know, and all the others, Tommy... Well, let's know if you're boring the audience. Okay, let me uh, get a close view of the really equipment here. There's the turntable. And there's the, what we have here, it's an amplifier, cassette deck equalizer, the mixer CD player, and this is the, what appears to be half of a boom box, which consists of CD player, AM, FM, cassette, all built in, and way back over there, yeah, way back over here is our little compressor to help, to help keep the signals intact. Where's your Walkman? Okay, well that takes care of the interview. I remember think you, you can have this equipment for $59.95 in care of Michael Klein's Corporation of Audio and Visual Effects. I don't think he wants to sell it. Well, thank you guys for the interview. It's uh, Tommy Story and Billy Page, his client, and we have an innocent bystander. I don't know where he disappeared to. But this is Vladimir Klein reporting live from the physics laboratory at Tidewater Community College at the Federal Campus.